Arkansas community. This is KNWA News at 10. A Northwest Arkansas city is begging for changes to be made because drivers continue to ignore the signs displayed at a potentially dangerous bridge. Good evening to you. I'm Nate Custer. And I'm Donna Frippingatha. Thanks for joining us tonight. KNWA's Peyton Yeager was in Beaver today to show us how a viral Facebook video of a tour bus crossing a suspension bridge is sparking controversy. And I saw that bridge and I went, oh, this is fine. <laughs> Some call it the Golden Gate Bridge of Arkansas. It's impressive. The prized structure off Highway 187 caught attention over the weekend after this video was posted. It shows a 35 ton charter bus crossing the bridge, which you can see buckling. Here at the start of the bridge, there's a sign that clearly states the weight limit is 10 tons. But the people of Beaver tell me that these types of incidents happen all the time. It's a one lane wood deck bridge on a state highway. The Arkansas Department of Transportation was out today inspecting the bridge during a routine maintenance check. Danny Stracely says his workers just happened to be in the right place at the right time. They were there last week. They uh, remain up there uh, just doing regular routine maintenance, like replacing the wood planks that uh, comprise the bridge deck over there. After almost 70 years in service, RDOT says the bridge is up to par. And right now, there's not one. But two warnings of the weight limit before you cross. There's uh, over 62 signs between where you get onto our road and when you hit the bridge. If they didn't read the first 20, they certainly didn't notice it. Longtime Beaver resident Roger Schnoff has no fear when driving over the bridge, but he's nervous the increased traffic and headlines over the years will take the bridge away from the small Arkansas town. It's dear to a lot of people in the town as well as in the county. In Beaver, Peyton Yeager, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News. The Arkansas Department of Transportation says the bus in the video has no definite markings and no license plate, a fact which is being looked into by the Arkansas Highway Police.